Hello everyone. Our today's topic is about selection of a topic. We are very much clear that ability to develop a good research topic is an important skill. An instructor may assign you a specific topic, but most often instructors require you to select your own topic of interest. When deciding on a topic, there are a few things that you will need to do. The very first point is brainstorm for ideas. So you can use some questions for brainstorm purpose like do you have a strong opinion on a current social or political controversy? Do you have a personal issue, problem or interest that you would like to know more about? Do you have a research paper due for a class this semester? So these are some of the ideas, some of the starting points to brainstorm for the idea. Next is choose a topic that will enable you to read and understand the literature and it is very much important. You can begin with the idea by reading a general encyclopedia article on the top two or three topics you are considering. Reading a broad summary enables you to get an overview of the topic and see how your idea relates to broader, narrower and related issue. It also provides a great source for finding words commonly used to describe the topic. These keywords may be very useful to your later research. If you can't find an article on your topic, try using broader terms and ask for help from a librarian. So you have to get into the literature with the help of librarian with the help of your class fellows, with the help of your peers, so that to, to, to reach at that point for which you are looking for. Next point is ensure that the topic is manageable and that material is available. Next point is make a list of keywords. For this, keep track of the words that are used to describe your topic. For example, Look for words that best describe your topic. Look for them in when reading encyclopedia articles and background and general information. Find broader and narrower terms, synonyms, key concepts for key words to widen your research capabilities. Make notes of these words and use them later when searching databases and catalogs. Be flexible. It is common to modify your topic during the research process. You can never be sure of what you may find. You may find too much and need to narrow your focus or too little and need to broaden your focus. This is normal part of the research process. When researching, you may not wish to change your topic, but you may decide that some other aspects of the topic is more interesting or manageable. Keep it in mind, the assigned length of the research paper, project, bibliography or other research assignment. Be aware of the depth of the coverage needed and due date. These important factors may help you decide how much and when you will modify your topic. Your instructor will probably provide specific requirements. If not, you can find finally. Next point is define your topic as a focused research question. You will often begin with the word, develop a more focused interest in an aspect of something relating to the word, then begin to have question about the topic. Next point is formulate a thesis statement. You write your topic, write your topic as a thesis statement. This may be the answer to your research question or a way to clearly state the purpose of your research. Your thesis statement will usually be one or two substances that states precisely what is to be answered, proven, or what you will inform your audience about your topic. <clears throat> Scope of your topic. 
if your topic is too broad it may be hard to find information that is focused and relevant if your topic is too narrow it may be hard to find any information at all one way to narrow a broad topic such as the environment is to limit your topic some common ways to limit a topic are by geographical area example what environmental issues are most important in southwest united state by culture for example how does the environment fit into the navajo world view by time frame what are the most prominent environmental issues of the last 10 years by discipline how does environmental awareness affect business practices today by population group what are the effects of air pollution on senior citizen so these are some of the examples you can follow and you can see two boxes one showing too broad and then better statement another showing too narrow and then better statement i think so both will be helpful thank you very much for watching this episode